the uh, uh, plants that were here. Uh, the city was very different. Uh, it was a wartime city. Uh, in two and a half years, it was convert, co converted this farmland uh, to a city of 75,000 people uh, in two and a half years. A, a remarkable feat in itself. But the uh, town, when it was originally laid out, uh, the army called for 13, a city for 13,000 people. And uh, uh, because the people, physicists in Los Alamos were just doing these theoretical calculations, uh, the critical mass, the amount of material they had to have, U-235, to build a ball, uh, was unknown and it was changing. Uh, the more work the calculations they did, the, the bigger the critical mass became. And uh, in w just one year after they got the town for 13,000 built, the Army changed the, the number to 44,000. And within one year after that, they changed it to 61,000. So the city just grew like topsy. And it was wartime, war shortages, uh, material shortages, everything was wood. Uh, like this building that you're sitting in, which was here, uh, built here in the fall of 1943. Uh, and the center of the little town of 13,000 was right next door to us here. Uh, this was the commercial center of 1943 Oak Ridge. The commercial center uh, in 1945, four and five changed to uh, the west of here. But this uh, complex right beside us called Jackson Square was the original uh, center of the city. A huge army cafeteria fed all us single people that lived in these dormitories around here, uh, boys and girls, 150 in each uh, dormitory, separate of course, yes, yes, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, army very wisely uh, decided this wasn't going to be an army base. Uh, this was a town the Army was totally devoted to that mission of producing this uranium-235. Um, but the scientists and engineers that came here were working on the frontier. And so the Army wisely decided they ought to make this place as uh, uh, habitable and friendly as they possibly could, as attractive as they could make it, given the wartime considerations. So the town is laid out in a very uh, unusual way. The, the, it follows the topography, the roads and the streets. Now the whole town is built, the original town is built between the top of Black Oak Ridge and uh, the bottom of the Black Oak Ridge, which is in the valley, and we, the main road is called the Oak Ridge Turnpike. Again, everything was secret, uh, uh, everything had code names, but the streets are very uh, nicely uh, laid out and designed. Uh, all the streets that go from the turnpike up to the top of the hill are named for states. And the states start with uh, Alabama and Arkansas on one end and go down Georgia, Kentucky, Michigan, uh, New York, Pennsylvania. and. Uh, the little streets that go off them are roads, and they're all named uh, for uh, uh, some that starts with the same letter as the avenue that goes up. On New York Avenue, where I still live in a wartime home, uh, the streets off of it are Newkirk and Norris and, and uh, Norman and so on and so on. The town then was laid out and built with the idea that the scientists and engineers who were keys to making this bomb uh, needed to be happy. But more importantly, the, the, the spouses need to be happy with their families. They needed to have schools just as good as where they came from. Uh, lots of university towns, Berkeley, California, Chicago, Rochester, New York, uh, New York City, and, and uh, 
the hospital care had to be as good as it was back home or the spouses were going to get unhappy and that means that the sons can't do their work and so on. So they bent over backwards to make the town as, as fine as they possibly could. Uh, for the single people, 13,000 of us, um, who lived in dormitories, they provided a remarkable subsidized recreation program and they had recreation halls in each part of town. And uh, uh, the single people, uh, of course, got sick and tired of eating in the cafeteria. Uh, I wrote a letter home the first weekend I was here, and I told my mother, I said, uh, boy, the food in the cafeteria is superb. You can get a fine breakfast for 40 cents and dinner at night is 75 cents. And two weeks later, I wrote home and said, the food in the cafeteria stinks. All you can get is fish. They don't ever have milk, and uh, not milk. Uh, they had chickens, but never had a, even a, a rare to get hamburgers. But this was wartime. Uh, we worked six days a week, just like everybody in Knoxville uh, and in all other cities in the United States. So the stores stayed open Monday nights instead of Saturday, so everybody could do their shopping. And the singles all went into Knoxville. They couldn't wait to get into Gay Street and eat at the uh, uh, S&W cafeteria, something besides this army cafeteria, and shop in real department stores where you could buy books. And uh, uh, so we all rushed in there, and then that, every Monday night we went in on our buses. Um, and. Uh, uh, 